I spoke with many people both on and off camera today. Parents and students tell me they're happy the school district acted, but it's signs like this one outside Garfield High School that highlights the growing issue of violence in the area. When it comes to these teenagers, it's really easy for them to just put on that suit of armor. John Well Fagans runs a program that mentors young black boys. It's really, I'll say, important just to have people who understand. Ja well was supposed to chaperone a field trip for teens at Garfield High School. I was just doing my weekly run up here and I come and I see all the parking, all the, the parking lots empty. Garfield High School principal Terrence Hart dismissed students early on Thursday due to a threat. On Friday, the campus closed. All students had online classes. These boys are so young, they're going through so much stuff just on their way to school. There have been three shootings within eight days near Garfield. On May 18th, a 19 year old was shot outside the Teen Life Center. One of of the boys in our program was actually right there when it happened. Joseph Kliegman lives nearby. Yeah, I've heard the gunshots. He remembers hearing the screams from students after the May 18th shooting. I worry about collateral damage. Uh, I worry about, um, you know, mostly worry about the students and what they're going through. Shootings in the Central District have gone up substantially since 2021. This data from the Seattle Police Department only goes through April, but shows there were two shootings in 2021. So far this year, there have been 11. You have to always try to put it in the forefront that this stuff is not normal. And these are, these aren't adults, like these are children. A student at Garfield sent me this message saying she's glad the school district took action and is disappointed in how Seattle's handling gun violence, ending by saying, I no longer feel safe at my school. It's a shame because at their age, they should only be concerned about going to school, getting your work done, graduating high school. There will be a community safety meeting at the high school on Monday the 5th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. and the focus will be on solutions to campus safety. Now I did reach out to the Seattle School District and I'm still waiting to hear back. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.